Hey guys, welcome to What's in the Box, and today, this is haul number two, so I did get a Nintendo Switch Lite. Got a yellow one because they're running out of colors because of the pandemic, everyone's buying stuff. So now I got the um, case that goes with it, and it's not bad, it's pretty like clear over here. Um, I also got a secondary one, which is the gray one here. Um, with the same kind of case. The case is not bad, um, as you can see over here. I'm not quite sure what that is. I think that's a speaker, a vent, whatever it is. And here's the earplug uh, jack. The game card goes in there. On the other side is USB-C charging, which is pretty good. Oh, I believe these are the speakers. That might be an air vent. And here's where the SD card goes. So I noticed I still don't have a screen protector, but I will buy one soon. Um, so today I went to get a um, game card case, which I don't think it even fits in this uh, Traveler Deluxe case, um, but I need one. I don't want to truck over everything wherever I go with all the, you know, the game cases. And I bought the Hori pad, I guess it's by Nintendo Switch, and Hori um, did a collaboration as usual, and they make good controllers. I also got the Nintendo Switch Pro controller because sometimes it's a pain in the ass playing all these games and you know. So we're going to open these up right now and check out um, what's great about these. So first we're going to open up the game card case. Um, yeah, sometimes I hate these plastic things because they don't really open properly. So it looks like this. And I guess, yeah, they fit in these little slots here. It feels a little cheap and plasticky, but for like 15 bucks, it's not that bad. Um, I'll put all the links down below. Um, you can get them on Amazon. Yeah, so that's what that is. So we'll go to this case. So on the outside of this case, it shows that you can slant your Nintendo Switch Lite. So I guess when I connect with but this is a wireless uh, controller that's well, uh, wireless and wired, sorry. And you can just play it just slanting up. So I'll just cut this open with my knife. And let's see what this is all about. So yeah, as you can see, this is not my traditional type of video where it's just facing me and I'm showing you. I just wanted to try different things stuck at home, you know? Okay, so we have the back. It's kind of feels cushiony all the way to the front, but let's open this up. Right there. Okay, so you can see the stitching right here. Looks like it's coming off, so I guess quality is not that great. This is $20, by the way. Um, once you open it, check this out. It looks pretty decent. There's a Velcro strap here and another Velcro strap. Open that up. I guess it shows you exactly what it can do. So we'll remove the inside. Oh, it comes with uh, another case. I didn't know that. I knew that I wouldn't have bought the other one, but still, I'm gonna buy a lot of games for this. So this one, it's red. Oh, what's this? I guess this is for an SD card? What is this? Yeah, it's an SD card. You put two of them in here, but why buy a small one? So you put SD card and I guess three cartridges. Close that up, it fits right here. And I believe with this one, to slant your, yep, stick the Velcro there to hold it in place. And I believe you can just place it like that. So it's not bad. So you can see it. So that is the case. A lot of Velcro in here to secure it. It's a pretty nice design here. No design on the back. So now let's hop over 
to the Hori pad. Um, so this one is a wired one. Uh, we will open it just in case because it's COVID-19 right now. You open something and it's not sellable. If you have anything defective, they won't accept it. So we're going to be very careful that we cut open this tape. There. We'll just move this aside. We'll review that after. So this is first impression. So what's in the box are my first impressions on opening it and to see what the quality is straight off the bat. And I guess after I use it a couple of times, I do a follow-up review, which is normally cool. So right away, this reminds me, <laughs> I guess, like an Xbox controller. Um, I guess I'll feel it. Yeah, it's actually, it feels good. So on the back here, we have this design. Not quite sure that what that is. I think you can remove this. Oh yeah, you can. Not sure if you can program these buttons, but that'll be cool. And I guess this little thing goes right there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So this is wired. Um, it goes directly into, uh, not sure how this will work with, um, I think this goes straight to a switch, but not the switch light because the connector is a little bit different. But I didn't get this for just the switch light because eventually when they restock everything, I'm going straight to the normal switch. So now we'll get the, the Nintendo Switch Pro controller. And let's open this carefully. So it's pretty much standard. They wrap controllers like this with any gaming thing. So right away when you feel this, yeah, it feels good. I kind of like the Hori one. This one feels a little bit better. Your hands actually can wrap around it and it'll rest. This one feels a little bit smaller. Not sure if you can have, like, it'll give you fatigue or anything. But the, the Switch Pro controller looks nice. Looks pretty much standard on top here. You can check. Um, I believe that's a um, USB-C or you can um, connect it to to charge it but it looks pretty nice underneath there so I'm going to be doing a lot of gaming so yes it is a USB-C charger as you can see right there and that's it for what's in a box